Hi guys, I'm back with another nail tutorial. So Born Pretty sent me six polishes that came in a set. They shipped these to me from Amazon. This is the Fall Winter Gel Nail Collection. It says Autumn Gel. And so I'm just showing you wrapped already in plastic wrap. It's a 12 month shelf life on these gel polishes. So let's just get into unboxing these polishes. And so the polishes, um, the uh, package came with an insert um, with Born Pretty's information on how to do gel polish application. It came with that, and so I'm just showing you that insert, very detailed, but we all know at this point, we should know how to put, in, put on gel polish. Um, I don't have to prep my nails because I have on Builder Gel, and so on my Builder Gel, I'll always apply peel off base coat. And so I'm just showing you the insert. And then the polishes themselves, um, there are six polishes that come in a carton um, or whatever kind of packaging you, uh, whatever you want to call it. What am I trying to say? And so I'm just popping these out of the um, package here. And these are six colors that are, you could either use them for fall or winter. And so we're going to, I'm just showing you, um, standing the polishes up and the polishes look just like the swatch dot on top and so I've swatched these this is W06 uh, green and then five is more like an olive green kind of looks like bile b-i-l-e this uh, four is like a golden yellow almost like a honey mustard yellow so that would be more fall to me and then we have a nice orange i do like that shade of orange there that's color number three in the kit and then number two look look how pretty that is look how pretty that red is and i wanted to do a, a red mani but i was like i've done a lot of red manis and so this is color number one a nice deep red and so i'm just showing you a comparison one is a jelly nude and the other one is another red that came in a pr package they are very similar but the one on the far left is just a shade like a little shade darker i don't know if it's picking up on film or not but it's just a tiny bit darker than the color that came in the kit and so this kit was on Amazon. As I mentioned, they did ship this kit to me from Amazon. It retailed for $9.99 for, so for six polishes. Polishes $9.99 is not bad at all. So guys, we're just gonna ha hang out with me and we're gonna get into this gel polish application. And so I did apply base coat off camera and cured for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And so I have, I decided to do a mani with color number six. And then I did purchase a white gel polish. It came in a kit off Amazon, a white and a black from Born Pretty. Y'all know I do not like to mix different brands of gel polishes. That's just me. And so um, some of the nails, I will not be showing all of my nails on camera. And so uh, some of the nails I will be applying green and the other ones, because I'm gonna use some decals, I'm going to apply white because when you're using a decal, you want that white to um, be the, the background to allow that decal to pop on the nail and so thank you to born pretty for sending me these polishes to feature on my channel
So here I'm just applying a second coat of the polish. I'm a little out of frame, my apologies. I'm just applying a second coat, and always with the second coat of any type of gel polish, typically that's when the color really comes out and it pulls everything together. So even if you have a little streakiness, usually that second coat will bring that um, in. And so um, I do actually have an affiliate discount code for Born Pretty. I will link that in the description box below. That will work on their site, not Amazon. Um, and so as I mentioned in the previous video, Born Pretty polish are um they're affordable like they are so affordable and so um i'm just gonna uh, apply this and cure for 60 seconds and i'll be back So here are the nails after the second coat. I am using these Festive Florals. That's the name of the decals from Poshy Nail Designs. I'm going to cut out two of those decals off camera. And then I'm going to spray them with water. While I have the decals sprayed with water, I'm going to go in and apply Born Pretty 6-in-1 Nail Glue to my nails and I'm going to cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and the reason why I'm using this you want something um, extra so that the decal will adhere to your nail see I was tripping just that fast I realized I did not use that for the decals because of the viscosity um, of course I do voiceover so I forget what I do now I easily could look at the video but in, anyway I'm rambling on so I go in and apply Born Pretty's gel base coat and cure for 60 seconds it still gives me a tacky layer even though the polish itself still has a tacky layer I just want to have some extra tackiness so that uh, gel base cure gives me a tacky layer I'm removing the excess water um, and I'm going to use the stamper to place the decal. Now I do smooth the decal out on the nail as much as possible. And then I'm going to go in with a nail brush and some acetone to clean up any excess decal that is on um, the free edge of my nail, the cuticle area, and or the side wall of the nail. Once I do that, I'm then going to go in with the 6-in-1 nail glue so that it kind of encapsulate the decal on the nail. I do want to mention that when I use uh, acetone to clean up the excess decal, I do dab off any excess acetone off the nail brush because I don't want to flood the nail with acetone because it'll melt the, the decal away and I want it only to melt what's on my skin and not what's on my nail. So you see me tapping my brush down on the paper towel before I go to place it on my nail to remove the excess decal. After I encapsulated the, de the nails with the decal with the 6-in-1 nail glue cured for 60 seconds, I'm then going to use that same 
nail glue and I'm going to uh, apply that to my middle finger and I'm going to go in with some AB rhinestones so these are some um micro beads or caviar beads that I got from Maniology maybe two years ago those things you have to be careful pouring them in the tray they go everywhere so they're probably on that nail mat that blunt rhinestone nail mat but I just can't see it because they're so tiny so I'm applying the six in one nail glue and I'm just going to go in and do a middle strip of rhinestones down the middle of my nail and then I'm going to use the caviar beads to go in between the rhinestones just to give it a more cohesive look I'm going to cure for 60 seconds once I do that and then I'm going to go in with top coat now with the top coat I do apply top coat to my middle nail I try um, as best as possible to get that on only the nail the part of the nail that has gel polish because you don't want to apply top coat on top of your rhinestones because they will lose their shine So I guess I just cut the footage out of me applying those uh, caviar beads in between each rhinestone. Maybe I thought that was tedious. So um, as you can see, it looks totally different in my opinion. Um, and I'm just applying the top coat. And again, this is top coat that I purchased off of Amazon. It came with the top coat and base coat. And I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Once I have removed my nails from the lamp, I'll wait a few minutes. I'll wait about roughly three to five minutes because your nails are really warm when they come out of the... Um, the UV lamp and so you can see me trying to carefully put that top coat on the sides of my nail without getting that um, on the rhinestones and I do end up getting it on my skin and I clean it up um, afterwards and so I apply cuticle oil off camera so guys um, please like this video if you found value and you like the mani that was created real simple please leave a comment let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel it is free so i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you next week thank you so much for watching look how shiny my nails are